Hi Chewbox friends, this is Denise with D. Rogers. Welcome back to my channel where I share everything related to Operation Christmas Child. And if you're new to my channel and you're not familiar with Operation Christmas Child, be sure to check out the link in my description below. All right, it looks a little bit different today. So I got a new microphone. I did an unboxing, but the new microphone didn't work. It's a, it was like a remote microphone. It, maybe it worked and I just couldn't figure it out. I don't know. But we are going to do this a little bit differently because I think this helps you more anyway. I'm going to box it up in front of you, which always makes me nervous, but I think it will help you in your packing. I promised I would share some 10 to 14 year old boxes. The boys sometimes for me are a little repetitive of the items I choose but um, it's always good to keep watching these videos just to get little ideas here and there of what to pack for this age group. It is really needed, boxes in this age group. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. We'll give it a try and see how this works out. Um, okay, so on the box, I'm using a standard OCC cardboard box um, that you can purchase in the US. And on the lid, I have a calendar page picture. And I, one more thing is I packed four of these boxes at the same time. And so it's my own little power packing party in my own home. Let me drop you a few pictures to show you. I lined them all up. I had enough items of multiple items so that I could include the same type of items in every box. And I thought they turned out really nice and I really enjoyed packing multiple boxes. And if you're like me, it's end of July, we're getting closer, and I wanted to get a few more packed at a time. So this was a nice way to do it and a nice way to address the older age group. Every box has a calendar picture on it, um, and it has a psalm and a beautiful background. And this one says, Oh, send out thy light and thy truth, let them lead me. So let's get started. So the first thing you want to do when you're packing your box is look for the flattest items first. So I'm going to pick up these stickers. I've included these stickers from Walmart and some sports stickers and then some skateboard stickers, which I think these skateboard stickers are always really fun for the older boys. Well, they're fun for all the kids, but I just picked some random ones. So we're gonna put those at the bottom of the box. And then I like to include my picture and my uh, card. I used a postcard from the state of Maryland and I hand wrote every note. And I put our photo in one of these little photo sleeves. So we're gonna put that on the bottom. The next item I'm gonna put on bot the bottom is a bandana. Every box has a bandana of different colors. Those are always helpful for an older boy to have. Uh, the next item I'm gonna put on the bottom is his washcloth. I got these from Harbor Freight. Um, they're kind of like, um, I forget what these are called, microfiber, but they're really soft. They came in some really bright colors. So I'm gonna lay that nice and flat on the bottom of the box. And as I move up here, I'm gonna see if I can show you. Okay, so that's what we're working with. Alright, the next item is his backpack. I order these from Amazon in bulk. Um, they have a reflector stripe on them. I really like them. And I just folded it nicely so it would fit in the shoe box. So we're going to lay that flat on the bottom. And I think that'll work. Okay, the next flat item, okay, he has Legos. That's his wow gift, and this is his base plate. And that's nice and flat, so we're gonna pack that on the bottom also. All right, the next item, I think, is his shirt. So every box got a shirt. This is from Wonder Nation. I'm not gonna unfold it because I wanna be able to pack it up nicely, but that's what it looks like. This was a size large, and this was a dollar. I got this last summer at Walmart. I got several of these. And just very nice, pretty colors. Good for a boy. So we're gonna lay that 
flat on the bottom. All right, the next flat item would probably be his notebook. I like to use these wire bound notebooks from Jot. These are Dollar Tree, three subject, 120 pages. These are more expensive than the 35 cent notebooks, but you can easily put a notebook, a, a larger size notebook and fold it over. But um, I like these just for the size. And I don't buy a ton of them, but I do like to pack them on occasion. So this will fit, as you can see, very easily in the box. Okay, my next item. There's like a little, a little bump right there from the um, backpack. All right, we're gonna put in his eye draw book. I pack one of these in every shoe box, or the four that I packed. These are currently at the Dollar Tree. I really like these books for the older boys. They're pretty fun. I'm gonna slide that right in the back. The next item I think I will pack is, I think I can fit his hygiene kit right there. I can't promise you this is gonna turn out perfectly, but let's see. This is his hygiene bag. In it he has some Band-Aids, a comb, a bar of soap, a lip balm, nail clippers, and nail files. Nail clippers and nail files and the comb are from Amazon in bulk. The lip balm is from the Dollar Tree. So we're going to see if that fits. Yeah, that fit pretty well right there. Okay, the next item I want to put in there, actually, I'm going to switch it up. Okay, this is a pair of underwear. This is Fruit of the Loom size 14 underwear. And I'm going to slide this right on the side here. That's originally where I had the um, I had the hygiene bag. We're gonna leave the hygiene bag out for now. And the next item I want to pack are his socks. Okay, I got him a pair of socks. Every box got a pair of socks. These are nice athletic socks with stretch in them. And I can't remember where I got them from. The one thing I like to do with socks is lay them separately flat just to take up the, the least amount of space. So that's how I pack them. All right, let's go with his wow gift to make sure I have enough room. All right, this is a set of Legos that I got him. This is a Lego box from Ikea. They, they came in blue, yellow, and white. I currently went online to see if they're still available and I couldn't find them. So I don't know if they're still available. But I really like them. I like the size. They're very sturdy. And um, so that's what I filled up. Oh, and inside I put those 100 blocks that you can get at Dollar Tree. And then I added a few more for some color. And then I added three Lego men to every box. And then on top of that, I added a kit from the Dollar Tree. This one is for a, I don't know, it looks like a fire truck of some sort, like a fireman and a little truck. And I packed it in this one, this little bag that you can get from the Dollar Tree. I like these because they go up and down. And so I just cut off the packaging, included the instructions and a picture of the item to build. And I laid that right on top. And then I did rubber band this just to keep it extra secure. So let's rubber band it up. And I'm going to set that right there. And I want to make sure, yep, I think that's good. So we want to make sure we have enough room so that it's still kind of flat on top. All right, gosh, how did I do this? <laughs> All right, next we have, I don't know if I might have packed that underneath that. All right, here's his pencil case. He has pens, pencils, nothing out of the ordinary. I do have one of these fun little double-sided markers that I got from the Dollar Tree in there. A red pen, a black pen, a blue pen some sharpened pencils, some Ticonderoga, and some novelty. 
And then on the end of this little pencil case that I get from Amazon, I have a little tag that says God is love. And those are from Hobby Lobby. All right, I'm actually going to slide a portion of that, that works. Okay, so this is what it looks like. So far, so good. I already have some crazy art colored pencils. There's coloring, and I like to slide those kind of in the back. He has a click and snap sensory toy. These are at the Dollar Tree, and I left it in the packaging because it has some really good pictures on it for him. So I'm just gonna slide that right down the side. I can get that to fit. Yep, that works. Okay, he has a, a, like a foam airplane. I get those on Amazon in bulk. I'm gonna put that down the side. He has a toothbrush with a cap on it. I'm gonna slide that in that same spot. Okay, next, he has a pen and gear calculator in black. I got that from Walmart. And I think I got that before the prices went way up. He has a flashlight. There's, it's like a pen flashlight, it's pretty cool. I got these from Walmart and I included four batteries. It takes two, so he has two extra. And make sure if you include batteries that you take the ends and in this case, I just left the packaging on. So we'll slide that right in there. He has a pair of scissors for school. Uh, let's see, that works in the back. Okay, that's what we're looking at right now. He has a Sharpie and a highlighter for school. We're just gonna slide those in. He has an Uno card game. Those are currently at the Dollar Tree. Let's slide that right on top. Let's put this little guy in. This is his stuffy. This is a Thai beanie. And I have a bunch of these. They're all mint with tags, never been played with. And these are great to include. I love to include a stuffy, even with the older boys. So we're gonna tuck him right there on top. Let's see if you can see that. Let me see if I can move this up a little bit more so you can see it. There we go. Okay, the rest of the items we're going to kind of sneak in there. This is from the Dollar Tree. I don't know if you've seen these, but these are really good quality. These are these little cars, little metal cars, and this is a launcher. And it has a rubber band in it. And I've included an extra rubber band, and it has a finish line. So those are really fun. I've played with them, and they work really, really well. So I do recommend them. And every box got one of those. So we're gonna seal that up, and we're gonna tuck that in right there. He has a set of dominoes in this little bag. The dominoes came from Oriental Trading but I wanted to package them a little bit differently. That's what they look like. So I used this little bag that I got from Amazon. So this packages, packs really easily because it kind of molds. So we're gonna stick that right there. He has a little Scrabble game, a mini Scrabble game. That was from CVS on clearance. And tuck that right there. He has some erasers, some Google Eyes, some pencil toppers. I put all in this little baggie and I get these baggies from Walmart near the jewelry section. Just gonna lay those flat. He has a glue stick for school. We're getting there. He has a pretty cool model airplane remember where I got that from. I thought that was a pretty cool item. And he has two Hot Wheel cars. Package 
is right there. He has a whistle. I left it in the packaging just for sanitary purposes. He has a pen and gear eraser. These are currently available for 22 cents at Walmart. I included another eraser. This eraser is in a set of 100, currently available at Walmart, $3.97 for 100 of these, if you can find them. Great deal, good quality. He has a little jumping frog. We're just gonna tuck that in. That's like a little filler for the nook and cranny there. He has another pencil sharpener. I included a metal pencil sharpener and this little car that I got from Oriental Trading. All right, he has a bouncy ball. Those are from Old Navy. That will fit right there. He has a cross on a piece of string here that I got from Hobby Lobby. And I always try to include something to um, remind them of their the faith and Jesus and that this is a gospel opportunity. And then, oh gosh, I think I got it all. This is his little finger puppet that says number one fan. Those were from Valentine's Day. That can go right on top. And then he has a standard size ruler I got from Office Depot. And I'm gonna pack that caddy corner on top of the box. And I still have to tuck in these strings here. So I even have a little bit of room nooks and crannies for some little things. Oh, I forgot, I added some dice. So we're gonna throw those in on top. And voila. So that's my box for a 10 to 14. Like I said, I did four of them in a row one day. And I was really happy with how they turned out. And I think this box will give a young man joy and an opportunity to learn about Jesus. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it gave you a few ideas. And I hope watching it being boxed up helped you as well. At any rate, thank you so much. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. And comment below if you have any questions. I hope you're having a great day. God bless you, and I will see you very soon in another unboxing. Take care. Bye-bye.